Yo guys, what is up? Davis here. This video is going to be showing you guys how to clone a RGH hard drive or uh, say if you have an old hard drive that doesn't have enough storage on it and you want to upgrade that hard drive but you don't want to get rid of all the files. Um, this is going to show you how to save all of those files and transfer them to a new hard drive. So first thing you're going to need is a USB flash drive that has enough storage uh, to hold all everything that's on your hard drive. Uh, there's another way you can do this. You can copy everything off of um, your console through Xbox 360 neighborhood and then copy everything to your desktop, uh, which is going to take a while to do that, but that's to save you money. And um, once you do all that, you can put your new hard drive in and then you can put Dash Launch and XBDM on it. And then you'll be able to connect uh, to neighborhood again on the new hard drive. Uh, and then you can transfer everything off of your desktop onto the new hard drive. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it with the USB because it's the more easy way for me to explain everything. Um, so make sure you have your flash drive plugged in. And right now we have about, I want to say 25 gigabytes or 30 gigabytes or something like that um, on our old hard drive, which is the 187 gigabyte free hard drive so I'm basically gonna take everything off of this I'm not gonna take it off but I'm gonna copy it and then I'm going to put it on the new hard drive that, that doesn't have anything on it at all so first thing we're gonna go to XEX menu so hopefully you should have all that if not then you can download it in the description and put that on your console and as you can see I got two games on here right now and we're gonna click RB and then we're gonna click X and click hit HDD1 and if you guys want to download the one set of files because you're gonna need Aurora on there mainly to do this and so if you don't have that then you're gonna need to download Aurora and put that on your console or you can just download one set of files and put that on your console because it already has there that it already has Aurora inside of there so click that and then click Aurora and then we're gonna click aurora.default.xex and that'll load Aurora make sure you have dash launch updated on your console if not then it's Aurora is not going to load for some reason once we get in there we're going to click the back button which is the system button on Aurora click file manager and we're going to go to HDD1 and now what we're going to do is we're going to hold X and we're going to select all of these and we're going to scroll down at the same time while holding X and as you can see here I got a lot of stuff on here then we're going to go scroll over to the left and scroll down to copy and then we're going to click RB which is going to take us over here like that and then we're going to go to USB 0 which is our flash drive and then we're going to scroll over left again and then click paste and click yes now this is going to take a little bit so I'm going to speed up the video and we'll go from there. Alright guys so we're back and it says a paste error. Now this can mean that some of your files didn't transfer but um, hopefully you were watching it so if it did say that it was at 100% like 99% and then 100% and then it was done and it says this then your files did transfer but if you weren't paying attention and you don't know what the percentage was at then you probably didn't get all your files transferred so um, just make sure you got all your files on there compare them to each other and everything so now that we have it all on our flash drive what we are going to do is we are going to turn all our Xbox off take the hard drive out and then put the new hard drive in okay guys so as you can see I got the new hard drive in and I completely just I just formatted it so there's nothing on it at all and so right now as you can see we got 17 gigabytes free on our uh, flash drive which it has everything on it that we need and we're gonna go put this back on the hard drive the new hard drive so we're going to go to games and the next X menu and as you can see it looks exactly the same because it's on the USB uh, so we're gonna as you can see it's already on the USB 0 right now and Which is fine. So if we go to HDD 1, there's nothing on it. It's, it's just stock pretty much um, We're gonna go to USB and By the way, you don't have to format your hard drive. I just did this for the video um, 
So we're gonna go to one set of files and then Aurora and make sure you're on USB zero because it's not gonna be on the hard drive. Then start Aurora again and then you're gonna do the same exact thing. You're gonna go to, you're gonna click the back button and then file manager. And this time we're gonna go to USB zero and we are going to select everything just like we did before. Copy and then we're gonna go to HDD1. We're gonna click the RB again and then HDD1 and then we're gonna click paste and then click yes. And then that'll be done. And there you go guys, you have a cloned hard drive or a upgraded hard drive, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and yeah, you can do this pretty much with any um, any hard drive really I think hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it helps you out y'all give it a thumbs up and yeah y'all have a great day